Welcome to the prayer for healing sickness. This is simply a video I've put together where I'd like to pray for anyone within the sound of my voice. All I ask you to do is to agree with me as we seek our Heavenly Father together. Please continue to meditate on this prayer for yourself. Speak it daily or listen to this video over and over again. And allow the Word of God concerning healing sickness to reach deep into your spirit. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we gather together here online and come into agreement in the wonderful and powerful name of Jesus. Where two or more are gathered, there you shall surely be, and anything we agree upon is touching, you will surely do. The Bible says that if there's any unforgiveness, that it should be dealt with before praying. Therefore, we release any anger, bad feelings, resentment, or any other wrong attitude before you now. We lay it at your feet, and we release and forgive those who have wronged us. I lift up those watching this video, and we come into agreement and lift up healing uh, any and all sickness in their bodies. Lord, thank you for sending your word to heal those listening now and delivering them from all their destructions. Jesus paid it all for them. Jesus is the word who became flesh and dwelt among us. Jesus bore their pains and carried their sickness. He was pierced through for their transgressions and crushed for their iniquities. The chastisement of their well-being was upon them, and by his stripes they were healed. The book of James says that the prayer of faith will save the sick and the Lord will raise them up. And if they've committed sins, they will be forgiven. And right now, those listening let go of all unforgiveness, resentment, anger, and bad feelings towards anyone. Therefore, Father, as we agree online, we give attention to your words and incline our ear to your sayings. We'll not let them depart from our sight, but we will keep them in the midst of our hearts, for they are life and health to our whole body. The body of those listening is the temple of the Holy Spirit, and together we desire and agree that it is in good health. We seek truth that will make the listener free. We ask you to help them with their eating habits and, and that they get appropriate rest and exercise. Those listening were bought at a price by you, and they desire to, to glorify you in their spirit and their body, their entire being, since everything belongs to you. Father, since the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in them, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to their mortal body through the spirit who dwells in them. We bind every abnormality and sickness that's trying to make a home in the body of those listening. We break the power of the enemy right now in Jesus' name and command any ailment, sickness, or anything that should not be there to leave the listener's body now in Jesus' name. We declare total healing and health over those listening to this prayer. We declare every cell in their body, every system, every organ, every function, from the top of their head to the soles of their feet, get in alignment to health and wholeness in Jesus' name. We speak peace and restoration over their body and even their mind, will, and emotions. We declare mental clarity right now and that the listener be strengthened to enable them to cast down the lies of the devil and those self-sabotaging thoughts. We declare that they will think on your word, Father, and meditate on who they are in Jesus. We bind your peace around the listener's soul now in Jesus' name. We come boldly to your throne of grace and present those listening before you for deliverance. I stand in the gap and I'm praying now, knowing that the Holy Spirit within me takes hold together with those listening against the evils that would attempt to hold them in bondage. We break the power of the enemy right now in their life. In the name of Jesus, we declare that the traps and the plans of the enemy are exposed, useless, and void, and come to nothing. Lord, help those listening to hold up their shield of faith and quench every fiery dart of the adversary that would come against them. In agreement that we ask that your plans and your calling for the listener would come to pass, we bind their entire being, spirit, soul, and body to what you desire for their life. We declare that they are willing and obedient to follow you, as surely you will lead them safely. The mind of Christ is theirs, and we bind their thoughts, feelings, and the intent of their heart to you. Every negative and godly attitude, addiction, idea, desire, habits, behavior, and belief, we lift up to you. And we loose it from binding them any longer in Jesus' name. We loose any negative strongholds in their life and break the power of them in the listener's life in Jesus' name. We declare the angels of God who are ministering spirits go forth and protect and supply those listening with everything they have need of to walk in victory. Together in unity, we decree in Jesus' name that the devil shall not get an advantage over the listener. We ask that the listener be strengthened not by power nor by might, but by your spirit, so that they can submit to you and resist the devil. We plead the blood of Jesus over the listener and their friends and family. The devil and his whole entourage are overcome by the blood and your word and must bow their knees. We thank you that the power of the enemy is no match, absolutely no match for the one who lives inside those listening to and agreeing with his prayer. Yes, the listener is delivered from this present evil world. They are delivered from the powers of darkness. Father, let your love fill every aspect of the life of those listening. Where your love is, there is no fear. Help them to recognize that. Let your peace and protection fill them up and surround them everywhere they go by land, water, or air. We ask that you fill those listening with your love, your peace, your spirit, your wisdom, your revelation, and understanding in the name of Jesus, fresh and new, God. Let it bubble up and over again and help them to recognize it. Thank you, Lord, that the listener is redeemed out of the hand of, of Satan by the blood of Jesus. They are justified and made righteous by the blood of Jesus and belong to you. 
The listener has escaped the snare of the devil who has held them captive. The listener does your will. They will glorify you in their spirit, their soul, their body. Thank you, Father, that Jesus was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. The devil's works are destroyed in the listener's life in the name of Jesus. The listener walks in the kingdom of God, which is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Thank you that those listening will prosper and be in health even as their soul prospers. We believe we receive healing for all sickness. And thank you in the wonderful name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen.